Unit 12. What happened? Page 78, Exercise 2, Perspectives. It happened to me. Part A. Listen to what happened to these people. Check the things that have happened to you. I was watching a really good movie, but I fell asleep before the end. I was talking to my friend when my cell phone died. I was traveling in another country when I met an old school friend. I was getting off a bus when I slipped and fell on the sidewalk. While I was shopping one day, a celebrity walked into the store. I was typing my book report on my computer when it crashed. While I was walking down the street, I found some money. Page 79, Exercise 3, Grammar Focus. Past Continuous versus Simple Past. Use the past continuous for an action in progress in the past. Use the simple past for an action that interrupts it. I was watching a good movie, but I fell asleep before the end. I was talking to my friend when my cell phone died. While I was shopping one day, a celebrity walked into the store. Page 80, Exercise 4, Listening. Lucky Breaks. Part A. Listen to these stories about lucky breaks. What were the people doing before they got their lucky breaks? What were their lucky breaks? 1. Young Zifa. About 40 years ago, Yang Zifa was just an ordinary Chinese farmer. He was living off the land and was very poor. Today, he is recognized as the man who discovered a highly important archaeological site, sometimes called the Eighth Wonder of the World. What happened? One morning in March 1974, Zifa and some other local farmers were looking for water. As they were drilling a well, they hit something hard. They found pieces of pottery and ancient weapons. Immediately, the head of the village reported the news to the local government, and in May 1976, the digging began. To everyone's surprise, there were over 8,000 soldiers made of terracotta lying underneath his land. The soldiers were over 2,000 years old and had been buried along with Emperor Qin, who wanted to take an army with him to his next life. Today, young Zifa spends much of his time at the Terracotta Army Museum. He sits, poses for pictures, and proudly signs autographs for the millions of tourists who visit from all over the world. 2. Gwyneth Paltrow You could say that actress Gwyneth Paltrow was born lucky. After all, she is the daughter of two well-known talents. Her mother is an actress, and her father was a writer, producer, and director. But like all people wanting to break into movies, she had to go to drama school and learn how to act. Today, Gwyneth Paltrow is a successful international actress and has even won an Oscar award. So how did it all begin? According to Ms. Paltrow, her lucky break came when she was 18 years old. She was at a movie theater with her parents. While they were waiting in line to buy some popcorn, she noticed that Steven Spielberg was also in line. She was just about to order when he came over to her and said, "Hey." Can I ask you a favor? Would you play Wendy in the movie Hook? Sure, she said, and so she got her first movie role. Page 80, Exercise 4, Part B. Listen again. How did the events change their lives? 1. Young Zifa. 
About 40 years ago, Yang Zifa was just an ordinary Chinese farmer. He was living off the land and was very poor. Today, he is recognized as the man who discovered a highly important archaeological site, sometimes called the Eighth Wonder of the World. What happened? One morning in March 1974, Zifa and some other local farmers were looking for water. As they were drilling a well, they hit something hard. They found pieces of pottery and ancient weapons. Immediately, the head of the village reported the news to the local government, and in May 1976, the digging began. To everyone's surprise, there were over 8,000 soldiers made of terracotta lying underneath his land. The soldiers were over 2,000 years old and had been buried along with Emperor Qin, who wanted to take an army with him to his next life. Today, young Zifa spends much of his time at the Terracotta Army Museum. He sits, poses for pictures, and proudly signs autographs for the millions of tourists who visit from all over the world. 2. Gwyneth Paltrow You could say that actress Gwyneth Paltrow was born lucky. After all, she is the daughter of two well-known talents. Her mother is an actress, and her father was a writer, producer, and director. But like all people wanting to break into movies, she had to go to drama school and learn how to act. Today, Gwyneth Paltrow is a successful international actress and has even won an Oscar award. So how did it all begin? According to Ms. Paltrow, her lucky break came when she was 18 years old. She was at a movie theater with her parents. While they were waiting in line to buy some popcorn, she noticed that Steven Spielberg was also in line. She was just about to order when he came over to her and said, Hey, can I ask you a favor? Would you play Wendy in the movie Hook? Sure, she said, and so she got her first movie role. Page 81, Exercise 7, Conversation. What have you been doing? Part A. Listen and practice. Hey, Gina. I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated. But I haven't been getting any work lately. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. Page 81, Exercise 7, Part B. Listen to two other people at the party. What has happened since they last saw each other? Hey, Bob, how's it going? Pretty good, thanks. I haven't seen you for a while. What have you been up to? Well, I've been looking for a house to buy. I finally found one last month. That's terrific. Yeah, I'm really tired of renting. So, what have you been doing lately? Well, I went to Italy last month. Really? What were you doing there? I was taking a short Italian course. But guess what? I fell in love. You did? Who's the lucky guy? Actually, I fell in love with the food there. So I've been taking some classes in Italian cooking. That pizza you're eating, I made it. Page 81, Exercise 8, Grammar Focus. Present Perfect Continuous. Use the Present Perfect Continuous for actions that start in the past and continue into the present. What have you been doing lately?
I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How long have you been modeling? I've been modeling since I graduated. Have you been saving money? No, I haven't been saving money. I've been spending it. Page 82, Exercise 9, Pronunciation. Contrastive Stress in Responses. Part A. Listen and Practice. Notice how the stress changes to emphasize a contrast. Has your brother been studying German? No, I've been studying German. Have you been teaching French? No, I've been studying French. Page 82, Exercise 9, Part B. Mark the stress changes in these conversations. Listen and check. Then practice the conversations. Have you been studying for 10 years? No, I've been studying for two years. Have you been studying at school? No, I've been studying at home. Units 11 to 12 Progress Check. Page 84, Exercise 2, Listening. Facts about Spain. Part A. Listen to people on a game show answer questions about Spain. What are the answers? Complete the chart. Welcome to today's show. The rules of the game are simple. I will ask a question, and the first contestant to hit the buzzer gets to answer that question. Each correct answer is worth $100. Today's topic is Spain. Are you ready, contestants? The first question for $100 is What currency is used in Spain? Contestant A. The Euro. That's right, contestant A. Spain used to use the peseta. But now they use the euro. And now for the next question What country borders Spain to the west? Contestant A. Portugal? Correct. You're doing very well, Contestant A. Maybe our other contestants can catch up on our next question. What is the capital of Spain? Contestant B. The capital is Madrid. You're right, Contestant B. The capital is Madrid. Excellent. Let's see how you do with our next question. What is one of the most popular sports in Spain? Yes, contestant C. Um, uh, hockey? No, I'm sorry. Anyone else know the answer? Contestant A. Soccer is very popular in Spain. That's right. Okay. There are only two questions left. Let's go, players. Next question Spain is an agricultural country. What are two of the main crops? Contestant C. Olives and、uh, wheat? Good for you. Olives and wheat are both grown in Spain. We only have one more question left, contestants. And remember, The winner of this round will be back here tomorrow for the championship playoff. And now for our last question What are two of the main industries in Spain? Contestant B. I think textiles and automobiles are made in Spain. Yes, that's correct. Spain manufactures both textiles and automobiles. So, contestants, let's look at your scores. Contestant A, you answered. Page 84, Exercise 2, Part B. Listen again. Keep score. How much money does each contestant have? Welcome to today's show. The rules of the game are simple. I will ask a question. And the first contestant to hit the buzzer gets to answer that question. Each correct answer is worth $100. Today's topic is Spain. 
Are you ready, contestants? The first question for a hundred dollars is: What currency is used in Spain? Contestant A. The euro. That's right, contestant A. Spain used to use the peseta, but now they use the euro. And now for the next question: What country borders Spain to the west? Contestant A. Portugal. Correct. You're doing very well, contestant A. Maybe our other contestants can catch up on our next question. What is the capital of Spain? Contestant B. The capital is Madrid. You're right, contestant B. The capital is Madrid. Excellent. Let's see how you do with our next question. What is one of the most popular sports in Spain? Yes, contestant C. Um, uh, hockey. No, I'm sorry. Anyone else know the answer? Contestant A. Soccer is very popular in Spain. That's right. Okay, there are only two questions left. Let's go, players. Next question. Spain is an agricultural country. What are two of the main crops? Contestant C. Olives and、uh, wheat. Good for you. Olives and wheat are both grown in Spain. We only have one more question left, contestants. And remember, the winner of this round will be back here tomorrow for the championship playoff. And now for our last question. What are two of the main industries in Spain? Contestant B. I think textiles and automobiles are made in Spain. Yes, that's correct. Spain manufactures both textiles and automobiles. So, contestants, let's look at your scores. Contestant A, you answered.